Oh Lord, pull up in that 04 pedal to the metal, says she wanna hit the flow more. So, I was a die hard Big Red Machine fan. Loved that team. We moved here in this city, Cincinnati, back in 1968, and we lived at Crosley Field. We also lived at Riverfront Stadium, which was approximately like right over there. Okay. Matter of fact, I am one of the few people who could say that they see they saw Reds games at Old Crosley Field, Riverfront Stadium, and right across the way here at Great American Ballpark. You know, and, and I tell you what, my favorite player growing up, Pete Rose. Hey, that's Pete Rose right there. Okay. And guess what? Week out of graduating from Miami, Ohio in 1978, I'm working full time, May of 1978, at the Cincinnati Inquirer as one of the backup writers on the Big Red Machine. My boys! Matter of fact, the first story I ever wrote in my life as a professional journalist was with Pete Rose talking about a soft drink. That was back in May of 1978. You ever hear of Ken Griffey Sr.? No, 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 not Jr. Sr. Ken Griffey Sr. was a starting right fielder, perennial all star for the Big Red Machine. Well, found out one day that Ken Griffey Sr. had the son named, yeah, 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 that, that guy, Ken Griffey Jr. And, and, and guess who wrote the first story ever about Ken Griffey Jr. when he was eight years old? Yeah, when he played Navajo League Baseball. I mean, those are my boys. I mean, you go around the horn, you got Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer, catcher, first baseman, Tony Press. Tony's over there. Tony Press, first baseman, Hall of Famer. Joe Morgan, he, he's right over there. Joe Morgan, second baseman, Hall of Famer. The, the shortstop, Dave Concepcion, perennial all-star. Third baseman, Pete Rose, should be in the Hall of Fame, but we won't talk about that. George Foster, perennial all-star, left fielder. Uh, Cesar Geronimo, perennial all-star, center fielder. Ken Griffey Jr., already talked about that. I don't like to compare anybody to my big red machine, but you know what? These Atlanta Braves are awfully close. They've hit more 450-foot home runs than anybody. It's not like the big red machine. They can slash in the gaps. They're like the big red machine. They can run like the Big Red Machine, Joe Morgan, Dave Concepcion, those are some speedsters. These guys, Ronald Acuna leads the National League in, in uh, uh, what, stolen bases. I mean, you know, they're a great fielding team, the Braves. Well, not as great as the Braves, the, the Reds. They had a perennial gold glover at catcher, at second base, at shortstop in center field. Uh, Braves are kind of close. I mean, they got guys who potentially can do that. But here's where the asterisk comes in. Those Reds were the last National League team to win back-to-back -back World Series. Braves haven't done that yet. They won it two years ago, but they got to win this year, win again, to get even close to that. But you know, they got a good start. They got a real good start. I'm talking about the Atlanta Braves. But so, my boys, there's Pete right there. There's Pete Rose. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so much, this is so great. Oh. This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more. Hell 